What's happening, diamonds and gents? This is Miss Trey, that gem, and you are watching Gem Spot TV. This is about to be me giving you a quick recap on season three, episode two, Empire. Man, I gotta say, it is getting off to a good start this season. Um, looks like Jamal Lyon has PTSD uh, from getting shot by Frida Gat. So every time he get under some lights, my boy start tripping. So you know Lucius being the Lu Lucifer that he is, he basically has an issue with the fact that Jamal won't quote unquote face his fears. So throughout the whole episode, you'll kind of see him throwing jabs and throwing shade at Jamal because he really can't do it. But anywho, you kind of see how Cookie and um Lucius met it was like flashbacks into the past but come to find out she had a pretty good dude when she met lucius so now it looks like she's trying to relive her uh her past and get the dude that was better for her by getting this politician dude but we'll see time will tell so she kind of snaps on my dude and Lucius. Y'all know me. I talk about what stuck out to me. And you know Lucius, your boy, is feeling a particular kind of way about that because he don't want to lose his cookie. But yet, you know, he had to marry old girl because so she wouldn't testify. So it's a catch-22. So into who? Uh, cookie, you know, being cookie basically like with lucia she's done because she's like i didn't put my heart out there too many times for you to stomp on it and jump on it let's just do this music but you know lucius he trying to give all the gifts in the world and everything he can so that she'll be down for your boy but cookie is done she's like stick a fork in me i'm rotisserie gold i'm tired of the foolishness so Becky with the good hair uh was trying to have a conversation of course with Cookie. It looks like she's trying to get hair to A&R. Uh but you see at the end towards the end of the episode her boy, her man's in them basically is telling her like I'm leaving Empire and I negotiated a deal that you could come along with me. And she like, no, nah, you know, Lucius, I'm down for my boy Lucius. I got to say this, though. That says a lot with loyalty. But, however, I would have to ask for the head of A&R before I turn down a job somewhere else. That's just me. But that says a lot about loyalty. A lot of people don't know a whole lot about loyalty. And I'm learning that especially in this day and age like you can be loyal to people and they don't even realize how loyal you are you know what i'm saying and i'm just gonna put myself out there like with an incident that happened with myself and my husband or whatever like we were loyal to this one particular person and even when the person who went and snaked us out tried to talk behind our back when they tried to get us to go somewhere else or join something else we was like no we sticking with them but you know loyalty ain't like that and i'm from a i'm from the hood and loyalty is a lot you know loyalty earns all respect for me and that's just what it is but anyway moving on so she trying to say no i'm gonna stick over here because my dude was down for me when nobody was giving uh becky with the good head any type of play okay so basically, um, she kind of like, she's thinking about it, but she like, no, I think I'm going to stick with who's down for me. Moving on. So it looks like, you know, the Lion Brothers, they get together or whatever. And Andre kind of like, listen, we going to get through this. We got, we going to fight. We ain't going to never stop fighting. We're going to be everything we supposed to be. So he's like, listen, I'm going to go to our place get the last few of our th my things or whatever and i'm just gonna um you know get uh ronda out of my head so he goes and some white lady calls the police on the man and basically trying to say he's robbing his own place so now you know as you can see from the pre from the um what's gonna go on in the next episode they're gonna try to say the man was fighting the police child black folks is so hated in america it ain't even funny and it's 2016 and we still going through the same stuff our uh forefathers went through it don't make any sense to me but anyway so with all of that being said 
I think that this season is going to be off the chain good. I'm glad that they gave Portia more camera time and words because I was kind of peed off that they weren't letting it. Because she funny, you know what I'm saying, that they weren't really giving her a whole lot of camera time from last time. You know what I'm talking about? So, um, I'm glad of that. And I'm just excited about this season and I'm going to keep bringing on the uh, recaps. If it's anything that I missed or that stuck out to you, Y'all know what to do. Comment down below. Let me know what stuck out to you. What you think about this season. Are you down for it? Let your girl know. All right. This has been Miss Trey That Gym giving you Empire Season 3, Episode 2, Realness. Have joy, love, and be empowered in the 2016. You be blessed. Mwah, mwah, mwah.